Just a quick video of this train that we just got off of. I don't know if you guys can see it. But we were just in a train that derailed on the way from Manhattan to Mineola at Marillon Avenue. Our whole car turned practically over. This was the scariest thing that we've ever been involved in. And by the way, here. If you can see the crushed car right there, right there. That's the one that we were in. Really scary. Good to be alive. Right now, breaking news on the Long Island Railroad. Trouble on the tracks. A packed train derails, injuring more than a dozen people and leaving behind a trail of destruction. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Jessica Moore. The frantic scene unfolded just after 9 o'clock near the new Hyde Park station, and investigators are still on site right now. CBS 2's Ali Bauman is live for us with more. Ali? Jessica, we're about a half mile away from the new Hyde Park station right now where you can see that a Huntington-bound train collided with an LIRR work train earlier this evening. Now, in this video from earlier tonight, you can see passengers coming out of the train on stretchers. Authorities say just after 9 p.m., the train heading east on the Long Island Railroad went off the tracks. The first three of the 12-car train derailed, and the work train caught fire. Out of the 600 passengers on board, 11 were injured, none considered to be seriously hurt. We spoke with one passenger earlier this evening who recounted his trip. I know of injuries in these first two cars. Uh, they said some were serious. We heard it, uh, like a crash. It was like going off the train. It felt like it was just derailing. And then it came to a stop. I'm praying to the other people who were in front of the car who I heard were pretty bad. Live tonight, you can see staff from the MTA and the LIRR searching the trains. They have still not determined what caused this derailment. Now, service is currently suspended on the Ronkonkoma, the Oyster, and Port Jefferson lines. We're live in New Hyde Park, Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News.